All right, y'all. Welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm quite the lock junkie. Uh, recently, I've done a couple of videos with locks I picked up from Locket and Mr. Lock. Last week was one from Locket, so I figured we'd switch back and do one from Mr. Lock. Uh, this one here is the all brass version of the Abyss. I'm trying to read from a, a slip I have on the side here. The, uh, it is, well, it says right on the box, 5540, but it's the all brass 55 MB40. And at time of purchase, it was just shy of 11 bucks. So not bad. And obviously it is a smaller lock, but it is what we sometimes refer to as what, like nautic locks. Um, you know, something you might use on a, on a boat, say, or a, a, an, an always wet situation, because it is all brass. Uh, it's probably not going to rust on you, um, being it's got a brass shackle, brass body, brass locking poles, brass core, brass pins. I'm pretty sure it's all brass, uh, other than the keys. So pretty neat little lock. I'd say it looks pretty cool too, with all that all that brass on there. Uh, really nice looking lock. Pretty handsome. I do know that uh, I think it's a uh, lock noob uh, collects all brass locks. So I'll have to find out if he has one of these or not yet. Uh, maybe I can help him out with this one. Uh, so let's see what it takes to uh, pick into this thing. I did notice when I opened it up, it has uh, spring loaded locking balls, but most of these smaller locks do. So that's not a surprise. These are not a high security lock. So uh, let's not go there with all that. But we may play with it anyways. And it does seem to be a one, two, three, four pin lock. Uh, again, expected for a lock this size. So let's see if we can pick into it and maybe have a little bit of fun with it. I believe I'm going to have to use bottom of keyway tension. That's an itty bitty keyway there, as you can see. So let me grab, I don't want to hog up the keyway. That ought to fit right there. And since I need all the room I can get, I'll go again with the South Ord. I've mentioned these before. I like these. They're the South Ord. I think they're the Slimline Euro. Uh, they've got a really low shaft. They're really great for locks like this, where you don't have a lot of room under the pins. So let's dig in and see if we can pop this puppy. Well, might have to go right off that side right here. Let's see if that works. Maybe. Well, i got to tell you, even for a small lock, it's got spool pins, as most Abus locks do. Uh, they did not chintz on this little guy. I do, yep. Want to do a false set. This little sucker has spool pins in it, so bravo on that. So now I gotta find what's holding us up because we do have a false set going. Oh, maybe right here. If I can bring it back far enough. Wow. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to play in there, I'll tell you what. Oh, there we go. All right. So, put up a little fight. Uh, I do like the fact that even on a small lock like this, Abus went ahead and put spool pins in it. So, again, bravo on that. So, let's see... Uh, this is a pretty small diameter of a shackle, so I'm not sure they're going to fit, but you know we got to try it anyways. Let's see if any of these little, see if I got something small enough for this. Uh, that may fit. And it may not. Oh, there we go. We're getting somewhere. Okay, another little fella. Take these off there. Yep, 
and they don't really want to they don't really want to flip around in there I'll give it that yep <sighs> that is not happening let me take a look at something here It looks like it's got the edges. The locking poles made where you can't really swing it. Yep, made where you can't swing the uh, the shim around. So again, there you go. I mean, for a lock this size, bravo. Uh, spool pins and uh, locking poles. Let's see what I can get the camera to show what I'm talking about in there. Some people know about it already. The locking poles, when they stick out far enough, there's an edge on them right about there so when you're trying to put the shim in there and swing it around to push it back the shim gets caught on the side of that locking pole therefore you can't shove it back so uh, well done now I'm not saying it's impossible uh, someone might be able to do it without slicing their fingers up but it sure does uh, resist them quite well so there it is that is the 5540 Abus uh, from Lockit like I said, at time of purchase, a little less than 11 bucks. So uh, I give the little fella a thumbs up. There it is. It worked great in uh, very wet conditions quite well. So that's it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I want to give a big shout out to my uh, recent subscribers. I do highly appreciate you. I hope I can get you to stick around. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. Okay. Thank you.